polar curves graphing in polar coordinates when we deal with the graphing equations in R and theta we assume that theta is assumed to be measured in radians some examples of such equations are R equals to 1 theta equals to pi over 4 R equals to theta R equals to sine theta R equals to cosine 2 theta in rectangular coordinate system, the graph of an equation in X and Y consists of all points whose coordinates X, Y satisfy the equation. But in the case of polar coordinates, points have infinitely many different pairs of polar coordinates, so that a given point may have some polar coordinates that satisfy an equation and others that, that don't, do not. Given an equation in R and theta, we define its graph in polar coordinates to consist of all points with at least one pair of coordinates R theta that satisfy the equation. Example, sketch the following polar curves. R equals to theta, theta equals to pi over 3, and R equals to 2 sine theta, and R equals to 4 cosine theta. Let's start from R equals to 2. First, uh, just uh, to easily we can transfer this one to x uh, rectangular coordinates. And as, as we've seen before, we can, multi uh, we can take square from both sides. And we use the formula r squared equals to x squared plus y squared, which gives uh, equation of the circle. Okay, uh, radius 2 and center at 0, 0, right? This one already we saw. Okay, now this idea is okay. This one we understand. Next, we want to sketch the graph of R equals to 2 without using that uh, rectangular formula. How to, to do this one? First, uh, I put the values of the theta and R in the table. Okay, we assume that R depends on theta and for values of theta, how R will be, will be changed? What values R will, 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 be, will take? For example, theta, assume take the uh, values 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. Just this is one whole rotation from 0 to 2 pi. <clears throat> then we uh, know that R is always 2. That means uh, theta 0, R is 2. Theta pi over 2, R is 2 theta pi, r is 2, and so on. So that points we uh, point in the coordinate system. You can see here I put the angles and I put the uh, units, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then I point here these uh, five points. Of course, uh, point at 2 pi and 0, they cons <coughs> coincide. <coughs> then I connect these points with the smooth continuous line and it will give us the circle as you see in the red color one. Second example, uh, let uh, consider it equals to pi over 2, 3. Again, we can make the table at pi over 3, R0, theta pi over 3. R plus minus 1, theta pi over 3, R plus minus 2, theta pi over 3, R plus minus 3, theta pi over 3. Always theta will be pi over 3. This uh, situation we will point on the graph, which I put on the right side. Of course, uh, just uh, to remind you that it can easily transfer to the rectangular form by taking tangent from both sides. Of course, this one. Uh, you can just make easily find connection y will be root of 3 by x okay this uh, linear function we are the linear function just so how we draw it uh, okay in the pi over 3 direction we point the points with the uh, which we found in the table and after that try to connect them by a smooth line and you can see this is the graph of this function very easy okay next uh, 
two scientists that actually already we did uh, two scientists that how to transfer to polar coordinates by multiplying by r this one already we did i just uh, very fast show you this calculation uh, we multiply by r after that apply the formula of um, polar axis then we can get this formula which is actually circle of radius one center at zero one but here we don't apply that formula we just uh, refer to the table we make the table for example theta equals to zero r is zero theta equals to pi over four r is root of two theta equals to That equals to pi over 2, r is 2. You can calculate, right? And that equals to 3 pi over 4, r is root of 2. That equals to pi, r is 0. The dead points I will try to put here. For example, pi over 4, root of 2. This direction, this one, this length is root of 2. Pi over 2, it is 2. You can see in the picture here. 3 pi over 2, it is root of 2. This one is root of 2. This length is root of 2. This one is 2. And pi, it is 0. Coming back here. So if we connect these points, you obtain this uh, circle, in, which is in the red color. Right? 2 cosine theta also can be constructed similarly, but here interval when we consider for cosine, we need to, to have symmetric interval. You can see here from negative pi over 2, pi to pi over 2, symmetric should be symmetric. And because it is uh, even function, symmetric interval for cosine. Okay, when theta negative pi over 2, it is 0, it is here. Negative pi over 4, which is 7 pi over 4, it is root of 2, this point. 0, it is 2. Pi over 4, it is root of 2 again. And pi over 2, 0. So if you connect this one, it will be this uh, circle. Okay. Okay, I stop here.